Perched on the slopes of Tenerife's Mount Teddy, ESA's latest experimental tracking station is focused on the challenge of space debris. Instead of radio waves, the IZN-1 laser ranging station relies on laser light. Its laser pulses probe hundreds of kilometers into space, making contact with intact satellites and eventually items of space debris. Reflected laser light is detected by the station's telescope, fixing the target's orbital position down to a matter of centimeters. We need to know exactly the position and the velocity and where our satellites are flying. But for that purpose, we need uh, yeah, space traffic management and stations like our uh, laser ranging station to enhance the orbital knowledge of them to say they will collide with lower probability because we know more precisely where they are. Once the technique is well established, the aim is to go further and use more powerful lasers to gently nudge away tiny debris objects, averting collisions. We would distribute over the world high energy lasers and then we are directing these to these objects that we want to move. This will not damage the, the objects. It will just give them a gentle push to move them on a slightly different orbit, avoiding the, the collision. The station can operate in both day and night. For safety, it monitors the sky around it, so as not to risk endangering passing aircraft with laser beams. The station is also being upgraded for optical communication testing, using its laser beam to convey data between satellites and the ground, like a fibre optic cable in the sky. Developed for ESA by German company DIGOS, this new station is operated as a testbed for European industry. It is currently part of ESA's space safety programme, protecting human life and crucial infrastructure on Earth and in orbit.